Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create transparent textures in Source 2 uh, or to be precise in Sandbox. So in the previous video we managed to port this beautiful tree from Source 1 uh, from Half-Life into Sandbox. But right away we can see the problem with the leaves uh, because the leaves should be transparent. However, they are not. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix that. And of course you can do that with any texture you want. So let's get into it. So at first you need to locate your material that you want to make transparent. And in my case this is three deciduous uh, 01 leaves and 01 branches. So the leaves material uh, represents the leaves uh, skin. So as you can see this is the skin of a tree with the leaves on. Uh, whereas the default represents the skin of a tree with just branches without the leaves. First we will make the leaves transparent, so right click it, open in editor and here we have the preview of our leaves. Uh, for that I am using the complex shader, but of course you can for example use the foliage shader if you are doing it for with for example a grass, uh, but in my case the complex shader is what I want to use. Okay, and what we are interested in is under the translucent tab we want to check the alpha test and right away we should see the translucent texture and at the moment this is a default translucency texture we will create a special texture in a second what we need to do is to create a texture that will represent the parts of the texture that we want to see uh, as white and the parts of the textures we don't want to see as black this is quite simple, but for that we will need the GIMP. This is a free image editing software, which I really recommend you. It is quite simple and very powerful. So now locate this texture in your files. In my case, this is here. Now we have opened it with GIMP and we see something like that. In the program, it is uh, transparent, there is no problem. And also remember, when you are exporting with the VTF edit, always export as PNG, because remember that JPEGs do not support translucency. So you either need to use PNG or Targa format, but PNG is more common, uh, more accessible, so just use PNG. Back to GIMP. Here we are, we see our beautiful texture, and now we want to create the mask. So basically what we want to do is we want to paint all those uh, empty spaces which shouldn't be visible uh, in black and all those visible sections in white but of course you don't need to do that manually like that forget about it go to the section with layers as you can see layers right click the current layer and click add layer mask and select transfer layers alpha channel click add and now when we disable the layer mask, we can see the same thing as in editor, as you can see here. So this is our texture without the transparency. And this is our texture with transparency. Now it is all just a matter of separating this, uh, let's say, transparency channel into a separate uh, image and exporting it as a separate file. So first off, we're going to export this image our original texture but without transparency because we will store the transparency in a separate image so once again disable the layer mask file export and let's replace the old file yes replace that but in this pop-up dialog instead of automatic pixel format select 8 bits per channel RGB, so without the alpha information. We just want the red, green and blue channels, we don't want the uh, transparency. Click export. And now when we preview the file, as you can see it is no longer transparent, but this is exactly what we want. Ok, so now we have our texture without the transparency, and now we want to extract the alpha channel into a separate image. To do that, re-enable the uh, layer mask, so click that once again, so you see this. Click on the layer mask, okay, so do not click on your layer, but on the second image with your mask, like this. Control A to select everything, Control C to copy, now click the layer back, so not the layer mask, but the regular layer, Control V to paste, 
right click the floating selection to new layer. And look at that, we have the ready mask that we can use. So now export it once again. Let's add underscore T into our name that stands for transparency. But of course, this is just my notation. You can uh, do something else like alpha, but make sure this name is different from the original one because we don't want to replace our original texture. So click export. Once again, change the 8 bit per channel RGB or automatic pixel format into 8 bits per channel gray. So we will save it as a grayscale image. We will save a bit of space because we don't want the color information. We just want the black and white, the grayscale image of that. And here we have our mask. It looks like that. Now go to material editor and under the translucency, open containing folder, all images and select our translucency texture. Just like that. And look, we see a translucent texture. Let's save it with uh, Ctrl S or with the save button. Go into our model viewer. Now select the leaf skin and voila, here we have the transparent leaves. But there's one problem because those leaves are visible only from one side. And in many cases, this is the right behavior. This is what we want. But in this case, we want uh, to see this texture from both sides. So back to the material editor, and this is very simple to fix. Just make sure to select render back faces under the rendering. So tick it. Once again, save it or with the button, go back into the editor and look at that. Now we can see those faces from both sides and they are transparent just like we want them to be. And this is the process. It's really simple, just requires a basic GIMP knowledge. But let's get over that once again, because we need to create a translucency for our default skin. So once again, go to the asset browser. This is our default skin open in editor. As you can see, once again, it is not transparent. So enable the transparency alpha test. Let's take the render back faces. And let's create the translucency mask texture. Let's open it with GIMP. This is how it looks. Once again, right click the layer, add layer mask, transfer layers, alpha channel, add. Now disable layer mask, file, export, overwrite the original file, replace, select 8 bit per channel RGB and export. Now re-enable the layer mask, select the layer mask, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, select the layer, Ctrl V, right click the floating selection to new layer and our mask is ready. Now just save it. So export, let's add underscore T, export, change the format to 8 bits per channel gray export, go into material editor, under the translucency, open containing folder, all images and branches underscore T. Great. Control S or the save button. Let's go into material editor and now it works. It renders from both sides. It is transparent. We can change the skins. So it's ready. Now your asset is ready and it looks exactly like in Source 1. Uh, maybe there is a different method of uh, handling the transparency. Maybe you can use the transparency from the PNG right away without creating that mask. But this is the method that I have figured out and I am using. I think it is not that hard to, to create that mask. Maybe there are even some automated tools to create that mask without tinkering with GIMP. I don't know. Uh, make sure to write down in the comment if you know a better way. But if it comes to transparency, it's all I had for today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I am planning on releasing more tutorials uh, related to sandbox, mapping, porting models and materials. 
I wish you luck with creating transparent materials. Thanks for watching and bye.